So this right here is we have a glutathione bag that has a gram and a half of uh, glutathione that we're gonna do intravenously. Hey everybody, so I uh, was putting together some IVs today for a patient and I wanted to just kind of talk through something that I think is overlooked in, uh, in some areas of intravenous micronutrient therapy. And that is the cofactors that need to go alongside our glutathione. So today we have a patient who's coming in who um, has been suffering from some uh, neurological complaints and we are uh, prepping him for a stem cell procedure. So what we're doing right now is we are taking steps to help optimize his health a bit more, uh, help to kind of top up some micronutrient stores, correct some potential uh, subclinical micronutrient deficiencies. So that way when we come in with a stem cell procedure, he is better prepared for that procedure and uh, hopefully has a better response out of it. Now, so one of the things that we're doing is we are doing glutathione. So this right here is we have a glutathione bag that has a gram and a half of uh, glutathione that we're gonna do intravenously. Um, in the grand scheme of things, a gram and a half is a pretty high dose. Most patients uh, who don't have neurological conditions, we're gonna kind of work in the range of 500 milligrams up to a gram. Uh, however, in our more uh, severe patients, uh, we can generally work up to anywhere between three and four grams. And so we're slowly uh, ramping him up. Now, the important part that I really want to talk about today is this bag here, which is the cofactor bag um, that we are going to be doing before the actual glutathione. Now, what's important to understand in human physiology is when we give a, uh, a single nutrient of and there's certain ones that are kind of more implicated than this uh, than others. But when we give something like a single IV of glutathione or a single IV of uh, NAD is another great example. What happens is you start to kind of uh, move more things in the body, right? The glutathione is going to go and it's going to start doing things. And in the process of that gear starting to turn, what you have in human physiology is you have that this glutathione gear is connected to this methylation gear, which is connected to the urea cycle up here. And there's all these connections uh, between different biological processes. And so when we give glutathione, we can actually start to deplete other nutrients because you're turning up the dial in one area, which is causing the dials in other areas or the gears to start turning more. And you can actually start to deplete other nutrients and, and, uh, and that can eventually be counterproductive. Now, usually this takes some repetition. It's not like doing one glutathione IV on its own is going to deplete you know, uh, zinc or selenium. However, if you start doing, let's say, weekly IVs of glutathione or twice a week IVs of glutathione, you know, over four to six weeks, you could deplete some of these nutrients. And so one of the things that's extremely important for us to do is to actually replenish these nutrients. So that way, one, that glutathione has the uh, substrates that it wants to do its processes, but two, that we also uh, kind of stave off this uh, this these potential subclinical or even clinical uh, nutrient deficiencies. And so generally what we have here in our cofactor bags are going to be things like selenium, zinc, uh, copper. Uh, we're gonna have B complex, so it's B1, B2, B3, B5, B6. We'll add uh, B9 and B12 to that as well. Um, magnesium, uh, calcium, uh, off the top of my head, those are what's in this bag. And, and those are kind of the big thing. Oh, vitamin C. Cannot forget about vitamin C. Um, uh, and that has to do with the, uh, the vitamin C being an antioxidant in the, uh, in the blood and things like that. And that actually connects in with uh, glutathione. But so that's what we have in our glutathione bag. And again, those are extremely important because we don't want to create def more deficiencies with doing higher dose glutathione. And we want to make sure that we're supporting the processes that we want this glutathione to work in. All right, everybody. See you later.